Hi, my name is Jessie Chen. I'm the holder of this diary. Call it when traveling. My impression towards Denmark is all about fairy tales. Well, the vibe there is like a well-organized fairy tale, without a doubt. However, I didn't know the price there is also like a fairy tale. December seventh, twenty twenty-one, in Copenhagen, Denmark. At seven thirty a.m., I had arrived in Stockholm Central, waiting for the tram bound into Copenhagen at eight twenty-one. While I was waiting on the platform, I noticed a very thoughtful design there, which is waiting room. You might ask what's special about it. Well, let me tell you. Imagine you are in the lobby of a station, and the train you are gonna take is in thirty minutes. In this situation, there's a great chance that you'll find yourself in this kind of dilemma. Should I go to the platform now or waiting in the lobby? After a sophisticated calculation, you decided to wait in the lobby because just thinking of waiting on the platform makes you tremble. It's too cold outside. Seems a good decision, right? But what troubles you thereafter is keeping checking the time and thinking at what time you should walk to the platform to avoid missing the train. Which makes you uneasy. Well, fortunately, thanks to the waiting room on platform, there's no this issue anymore. Just head to the platform, waiting with elegance in the waiting room with heaters. You don't have to feel cold or uneasy anymore. What an extraordinary design! I thought. I then took on the train elegantly. On the train, looking through the window, a stunning scene just crashed into my eyeballs. An orange sun showed up in the center of a snow-white world. Then I was just thinking, next time I should visit some natural places in Sweden. Five hours later, the train was approaching to Copenhagen. Green, that's green. That was my first time being so excited when seeing grass. Well, after all, I had been in white world for thirteen days. While walking on the street, I was thinking, "Wow, this is Denmark. I've come to the country I long for visiting for a long time." There are three things I want to see in Denmark. One is New Harbor. Another is the Little Mermaid. And the other is Copenhagen Main Library. Well, if you are kind of familiar with Copenhagen, you probably want to ask why the library. The first two, I get it, but the last one, Main Library, how special about it? It's not big. It's not historical. Not a masterpiece compared to lots of historically famous ones. Yes, you are right. But there's still a small reason making it worth a visit. It's a small story, and let me tell you in the next episode. After checking the hostel, I went out to hang around. Walking on the pebble alley with colorful buildings aside, there was a moment that I somehow felt like I was truly in a fairy tale. I then walked around Throg, which is a famous shopping street. The stores here are small and delicate, and everything looks like in a fantasy harmony. I then left for New Harbor. On the road, I found an interesting phenomena: bikes in Copenhagen seem to be more than cars, and people usually ride so fast. I guess either they are in a hurry or they just really enjoy the speed. But this is not the coolest thing. The coolest is there's a stroller attached. In front of the bike, and it's quite common. Like there's one in five. When I saw that, I was like, "Wow, that's so great!" Parents are able to exercise while taking babies for a walk, and also the distance is less limited. Besides, if I were a baby, I must be super excited too. Well, baby may also like to enjoy the high speed, right?
I then arrived in New Harbor. When I first saw it, I was like, "Oh, then this is New Harbor." I remember I wasn't too excited then. The scene showed up in front of me wasn't something my brain had expected and longed for, because all my impression of New Harbor is from those online photos shot in daylight with colorful buildings and blue sky. Well. Though the scene didn't satisfy my imagination, it still has some kind of charm. In the harbor, there were some sailing boats and some light bulbs shining around them. The harbor itself is long enough to take a small walk, and on the two sides of it, there are many bars and restaurants, which makes the vibe there more chill. I feel like it's a good place for hanging out with lovers and friends. I then prepared to walk back to the hostel. But I suddenly recalled I should buy something for my breakfast, so I went to a nearest one, which is actually not really near, by the way. And while I was shopping, I suddenly felt like I become poorer. Everything here is so expensive, even dairy products. Compared to Finland, though the price there is pretty high too. Milk is cheap, but in Copenhagen, it seems there's no cheaper things. I then just grab a bag of two bread and a box of yogurt. That's all. They are responsible for my dinner and breakfast tomorrow. Written by Jessie Chan. Thanks for your reading.